cockroaches and possums. The walls there are paper thin. I went pole dancing. <laughs> So hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if you're new here, my name's Alex. I'm a sophomore at Tulane University, majoring in cell and molecular biology. And yeah, I'd like to first start off the video by saying thank you for 500 subscribers. Um, I've work been working so hard these last five months and it's really, really starting to pay off. Um, so yeah, when I was um, deciding on colleges and when I, when I finally committed to Tulane, I the first thing I did was I went to YouTube and I just tried searching up as many videos as I could about Tulane University and surprisingly there was pretty much nothing. So um, yeah, I kind of wanted to fill that fill that hole and kind of make videos to kind of explain um, what it's like at Tulane, some advice and other fun things to do in New Orleans. So yeah, if you've enjoyed my past videos, um, be sure to drop a like, maybe subscribe because 82% of you guys are not subscribed. And um, yeah, I'm working my way up to a thousand. So uh, yeah, click that subscribe button. So with that being said, I made a list of everything you need to know about Tulane University. So I kind of compiled a list. Um, so the first on the list is eating and dining options. Next is transportation, making money, um, some extra stuff, things to do in New Orleans, housing, and making friends. Yeah, so I think that this list covers a broad variety of topics about Tulane. So yeah, as always, if you have any questions, comment them down below and I'll try getting back to you as soon as possible. So the first thing on our list is eating and dining options. Um, so unfortunately, Tulane only has one dining hall. Um, which I guess is atypical compared to other colleges, but our dining hall is brand new. It was actually opened up on August 21st of 2019, and it's called The Commons. It's an entirely glass building, and it's absolutely gorgeous on the inside. Yeah, it, on the first floor, there are a lot of dining options from you know salads, hearth, soups, fried um, meats, and then on the top floor, there's there are uh, gluten-free options as well as um, vegetarian. And uh, if you have any di other dietary restrictions, there's a separate room for that as well to keep it kind of uh, separated from the rest of the dining hall. Um, it's actually a nut-free facility. So if you love peanut butter on your toast, um, unfortunately, there's no peanut butter. I have a lot of videos of me inside the dining hall and you kind of get a little perspective of that. but. It's been absolutely amazing and I just love the dining hall. So all the freshmen who complained about the food being bad, they had no idea how bad it was last year at um, Broth Commons. But Tulane really stepped up its game and yeah, it really increased the quality of life of Tulane students overall. So the hours of the Commons is open from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. on Sundays through Thursdays. And on weekends, breakfast is served until 3 p.m. because, well, you know, weekends and um, so a little tip there are dead periods um, during the day so between 10 a.m. and 11 a.m. 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. and then after 8 p.m. Uh, throughout those times um, there are less dining options but there are still wide varieties like their fried foods um, like hamburgers um, sandwiches and pastas but yeah um, there aren't as many options during that time because they're transitioning between breakfast lunch and dinner so there are also a wide variety of food trucks i think we have five food trucks on campus um, there's international called global mobile mexican indian vietnamese and mediterranean um, i've actually eaten at all five food trucks and i'd say they're all pretty good um, one cool thing is you can use meal swipes so I guess I could talk about the dining plan a little bit. So there are two dining plans you can choose from as a first year. So there's the TU15, which is 15 meal swipes per week and unlimited. So I suggest you getting unlimited your first semester. Um, I know you don't want to get the freshman 15. Uh, we actually call it the Tulane ton because the food in New Orleans is just so good. But the reason why I suggest getting unlimited is because when you're meeting new people your first semester, you, um, the easiest way to, I guess, get some one-on-one -on -one time with some people is um, eating a meal. You could be like, hey, let's go grab some lunch and some dinner. So sometimes you swipe in, um, eat food, and then 
someone else asks you, hey, you want to go grab some food? And you're like, ooh, I, um, I ate already. Dang it. I already used my meal swipe. But if you have an unlimited meal swipe, uh, meal plan, then you can, what you can do is you just swipe back in um, afterwards and eat multiple meals per day. Uh, you don't even have to eat. You can just swipe in and sit with your friends. So yeah, that's why I suggest getting unlimited. Yeah, on top of that, uh, you can swipe the unlimited card every 15 minutes. So um, yeah, I found this, uh, found this trick where um, what I would do is I would go swipe in and then I eat, you know, for 15 minutes and then I swipe my friend in who's out of meal swipes for that week. Um, so yeah, if anybody at Tulane's watching this video, um, keep that policy. It's uh, it's pretty nice. <laughs> um, so in addition with the um, with the meal swipes, there's also wave bucks. So wave bucks are a um, a two lanes currency that you spend at select restaurants. Um, so yeah, we also have um, a lot of restaurants in the Lavin Burnick Center for Student Life. Uh, so that's like Panera, um, there's also some uh, fried food, uh, Wow Cafe, um, Freshens, um, Zatarans. Yeah, there's so many different options I've covered in this video right here. Uh, definitely check it out. So yeah, that's where you can use these wave bucks. We also, you can also use the wave bucks at PJ's Coffee, which is kind of like the um, the coffee shops um, on Tulane's campus. We unfortunately don't have Starbucks, but uh, we have PJ's instead. If you are a diehard Starbucks fan, then Loyola University does have uh, Starbucks, which is just right across the street. Another cool place that you can use wave bucks is at the Provisions of the 30th Parallel. Um, yeah, they actually renamed it. Um, it's like a corner market. Uh, last year it used to be called McAllister Market or MacMart for short. Um, so yeah, Provisions, uh, you can use wave bucks, which is basically like a gas station store. Um, so yeah, this store is actually open pretty late. Um, so if you're ever hungry for like ice cream, popcorn, just any other snacks, um, you can definitely go there. Okay, and then um, the third part of the meal plan, I guess, is called Nola Bucks. So Nola Bucks is a currency that you can use at select restaurants in the New Orleans area. Uh, if you watched my previous video, um, we had a lot of Nola Bucks left over, so we went to Milk Bar, um, which is like a milkshake sandwich place. Um, yeah, we went to Insomnia Cookies. Um, other places we went to Fresco's. So yeah, there are a lot of restaurants that you can go to in the New Orleans area. And it's, I guess, Tulane's way of encouraging students to eat off campus and try other other places. And yeah, um, you in the unlimited meal plan, you receive 25 Nola bucks and 250 wave bucks per semester. And you receive more for um, the uh, TU15 plan. Okay, so the next topic is transportation. Uh, if you watch any of my last videos, you'll know that I ride a bike and I also skateboard. Um, I highly encourage you to get a bike. Only about 10% of students on campus have bikes, but it's super helpful because not only is it a source of exercise, it gets you to your classes faster, and it definitely widens your radius from campus, um, which is great. So for example, um, I go to Whole Foods about twice a month, uh, which is like the nearest, um, nearest grocery store to campus. So yeah, it's um, about one and a half miles. So it's about a 15 minute bike ride from campus. And yeah, it's better than spending $15 round trip for like an Uber or a Lyft when you go grocery shopping. Um, so yeah, definitely suggest getting a bike. With that being said, you kind of got to be careful if you're, you're biking on the roads because the drivers in Louisiana are, are questionable. Um, <laughs> so another source of transportation is the historic St. Charles streetcar. Yeah, the streetcar runs along St. Charles Street from um, all the way uh, from the Mississippi River to uh, the French Quarter. So it's about 4.1 miles uh, from Tulane to the French Quarter and you can take it to the streetcar. It's about 45 minutes uh, to 50 minutes uh, if you take the streetcar um, one way. And yeah, I guess a super cheap option. It's actually only $1.25 to ride the streetcar um, and they have an app that you can download. So if you don't have exactly $1.25 in cash, um, then yeah, you can download the app as well. Um, it is very slow, but it is pretty reliable. It comes and passes by about every 10 minutes at the stop and you can stop anywhere along um, on St. Charles Street. So if you ever want to go to like the fresh market to go grocery shopping, you actually use Nola Bucks there. Uh, then you can just take the streetcar there and it's pretty, pretty convenient and um, yeah, it's when the windows are rolled down, the weather's super nice. Um, it's just 
it's awesome rolling down. Also, when you're with friends, with the wind going through your hair and just chilling, it's it's a great time. Highly suggest doing that within the first week that you're at Tulane. Um, so yeah, all other sources of public transportation in New Orleans are pretty slow and unreliable. So um, most of the times I would say that students take either an Uber or a Lyft. Most times Lyft because Lyft's it's cheaper. But yeah, when you split it among like four or six people, it definitely cuts the price down. But prepare to, prepare to Lyft or Uber everywhere if you don't own a car or don't know someone who owns a car. Uh, freshmen actually cannot have a car on campus their first year. Uh, but after your freshman year, then you can bring a car on campus. But a lot of students choose not to because the parking pass fee is pretty high since parking is limited. Um, and because Tulane's developing more construction and stuff like that, the parking spots are going down. So the ticket price actually may go up, which is, um, which is pretty unfortunate. Yeah, with that being said, I definitely suggest biking or skateboarding when you get on campus, when you're going from class to class. Um, otherwise it takes about 15 minutes to go from one end of class to the other. So let's say you have like a 9 a.m. class. That 15 extra minutes of sleep makes a difference. Um, yeah, so if you skateboard, just practice, practice, practice before actually um, skateboarding on campus because Tulane is not a skateboard friendly campus because there are potholes everywhere and sometimes you gotta pick up the board. So yeah, just a, just a suggestion. All right, so the next topic is making money. So yeah, Tulane is a top 15 most expensive university in the nation. So um, yeah, um, it is nice to make a little bit of extra money to knock that price down. So Tulane does have a lot of work study opportunities. So Tulane does have a lot of work opportunities such as being a desk services coordinator, um, being a, working in the library, the recreation center. They're just like an unlimited amount of jobs that, um, that you can work. Um, so yeah, if you just, look around, I'm sure you can find a job on campus. It's not that bad. Also, I'm a resident advisor. So basically a resident advisor is a, um, like the supervisor for the floor. They do a lot of um, residence hall, dormitory, like just extra work. And um, yeah, you receive $16,000 um, if you're a resident advisor. Uh, so basically it's just free room and board as well as free unlimited food which is just absolutely amazing. So yeah, that's 16K off of the um, estimated cost of attendance. And if you do the math, it's about $800 per week and you're only on duty about once per week, um, sometimes once every other week, uh, depending on which, um, which team you're placed on. So yeah, I gotta say it's uh, the, one of the best paying jobs on campus. So you can apply for the resident advisor position after your freshman year and just highly suggest um, yeah, it's a great leadership position and it's gotta be one of the most unique uh, positions on campus. So yeah, that's how you can make a little bit of extra money. So the next topic is cool things to do in New Orleans. So if you watch any of my past videos, I've pretty much tried um, implementing New Orleans into my videos in some form or another, um, especially during my weekend vlogs, because I try getting off campus about once per week. And um, yeah, so I guess some cool things you can do in New Orleans. Um, the French Quarter. So, um, like I said, there's only 4.1 miles by, and you can take the streetcar from Tulane to the French Quarter, and yeah, it's just very cultural um, and just a rich experience. Uh, there are a lot of street performances, um, live music, and um, yeah, like jazz bands and stuff, and a lot of stores and just cool artwork. So, de um, yeah, New Orleans is very rich in culture. So definitely check out the French Quarter. Um, and then there's Frenchman Street. So um, yeah, there's a lot of live music on Frenchman Street. And yeah, during Halloween, the Frenchman Street is absolutely packed. I went my freshman year and I gotta say, I got the experience of just looking around and seeing everything and I'll probably not go back again. Um, yeah, a lot of festivals. Oh my gosh. Uh, like I said in my previous video, there's, um, <laughs> There's a festival for every day of the year. So I went to Voodoo Fest, Treme Fest, Beignet Fest. Um, yeah, so many festivals you can go to. Um, live music, clubs, um, and then the riverfront. So probably one of my favorite things to do is just go, go downtown, um, just walk along the riverfront and just, just look at the beautiful water and just feel the fresh air. Um, 
Yeah, the Audubon uh, Nature Institute Aquarium is there and the Insectatarium is also downtown. So um, yeah, definitely check those places out. The Fly, yeah, I um, filmed my last Friday at Tulane and yeah, every Friday Tulane students go to the Fly or Butterfly Riverview Park and just, you know, watch the sunset, hang out with friends, play some music, it's, it's a great time. Um, just biking, uh, this Mississippi River bike trail actually goes along the, um, the fly and it's a bike trail that goes from New Orleans all the way up to Minnesota. So it's, a, it's an amazing bike trail and it's along the Mississippi River. So you can see water along the way and a little bit of nature, which is great. Um, yeah, I um, went biking about once, um, once every week, once every other week and it's been, it's been pretty great. Um, you visit the swamps. Um, I actually um, went on a kayaking trip to Joe Brown Park, which was super memorable. Um, yeah, good times, good times. There are also some uh, alligator tours you can check out because New Orleans is in the wetlands. So um, yeah, a lot of, lot of nature out there. Um, like I mentioned, street shows, and there's literally an unlimited amount of things to do on New Orleans. And yeah, I... Um, I explored as much as I possibly could my freshman year and a little bit of my sophomore year and it's it's been just a very very rich experience so far. Oh yeah, I forgot to talk about TulaneTickets.com. I I've got to be their biggest sponsor. Um, it's been uh, it's been pretty great. I mentioned it in so many other videos and yeah, so I went to the World War II Museum. I went on a safari in northern Louisiana. Um, I've watched Broadway musicals. Uh, watched NBA Pelicans basketball games. Um, there's also wiener dog races and I went pole dancing uh, Well, I did a pole dancing class, which is a story for another day <laughs> So the next section is extra stuff um, Yeah, just I just threw in any extra ideas that came into my mind anything that you know I thought were pretty important so in the first I believe four days that you come down at Tulane University for your freshman year uh, you Orientation starts and I gotta stay say that uh, uh, <laughs> I gotta say that the new student leadership orientation um, program is Super well done. There's so much information it can be burdensome because there's so much information being thrown at you but all these social events that take place are Absolutely amazing. It's a time to get out of your comfort zone. Just get uncomfortable. What they do is they basically throw you into these groups and they make you meet so many people in your class. And yeah, it's uh, super awkward at first because I'm pretty sure you've never experienced anything like it, but um, yeah, definitely get uncomfortable and meet as many people as you can because chances are you're gonna run into someone um, in one form or another. They won't be your best friends uh, most likely, but you'll run into them in some way. And I guess it's just a, another person gets it down with me in, in the dining hall. Um, another thing that they do is they have this thing called Campus Cup where all the freshman dorms compete against each other in certain competitions, whether it's trivia, um, uh, just teamwork activities, tag, um, and the final match is on like um, is volleyball. So yeah, I'm proud to say that my freshman dorm uh, won and it was, um, it was just a really fun experience. Not everyone participates for some reason, but um, definitely just get out of your comfort zone, take advantage of every single opportunity to meet new people, and you should have a, a pretty good time at Tulane. So I made a video about the Riley Recreation Center right here, which you can check out. Um, something I didn't mention is that there are free workout classes that you can take advantage of. Um, so there's boot camp, uh, yoga, Zumba, some other CrossFit classes. So I took advantage of boot camp, CrossFit, and a little bit of Zumba, and, um, yeah, you're paying a fee to use the Riley Recreation Center, so take advantage of every single resource that you possibly can there. And these workout classes are pretty intense. I underestimated them my first time, but they are quite the workout and highly suggest trying them out. Um, so in your first week that you come to Tulane, you're going around, you're frantically trying to buy as much as you can. I mean, like when you go to Target or Walmart, it looks like an apocalypse <laughs> is occurring right now because all the bed sheets are gone, a lot of food supplies are gone. Kind of like the grocery stores right now. But um, yeah, so um, a little tip is trash to treasure. So in the theater building, there's this thing called trash to treasure where you can 
get other things like bookshelves, uh, storage containers, mattress toppers, blankets, hangers, just so many just supplies that people donated last year. And um, yeah, usually it's like, I mean, you get 20 hangers for like, I think like $2 or something like that. So it's super discounted, definitely check it out. Great way to save some money. And at the end of the year, you're probably gonna throw everything away again. So you don't wanna spend too much money on decorating your room and just getting all these um, um, extra things. Cockroaches and possums, be aware. So yeah, when I moved in uh, my freshman year with my mom, um, I'm from Nebraska by the way, so we don't have cockroaches and possums everywhere, but yeah, that was quite the shock at first. Um, so I remember uh, moving in, I opened up my drawer and right when I opened up my top drawer of my um, dresser, I saw a dead cockroach and I just I started freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, what is this thing? Like, why, why is this in here? Um, yeah, it. My mom was like, "Dude, come on, why, why are you freaking out?" Uh, yeah, so uh, be aware, there are gonna be cockroaches everywhere, especially during the. Okay, uh, let me rephrase that. There will be cockroaches around, um, so yeah, just be aware. And yeah, also uh, possums are um, sometimes like around the area, and um, I gotta say they're they're kind of cute, I guess. Um, but yeah, I got freaked out at first because I've never seen a possum before, especially. Some of them are pretty big, um, and yeah, they don't hurt people. They usually don't carry diseases, so you're completely fine. Um, I just want to throw that in, just um, just a heads up. Uh, water. So I personally just drink the tap water. The tap water in New Orleans is safe to drink. Um, a lot of people don't like doing that, so what they do is they buy Britas with filters, and yeah, that's always an option if you don't want to drink the tap water. Yeah, I think most college students do that. So housing. Um, I guess, yeah, the biggest thing that people are trying to look for um, before they go to Tulane is what are the dorms going to be like? So unfortunately, I could not do dorm tours of the freshman houses, um, freshman dorms because housing would not approve. Yeah, that's unfortunate, but I did make a dorm video of my residence hall, Greenbaum House, uh, which check out right here. And yeah, it's the newest dorm on campus. And I guess it's pretty, um, it's pretty nice. I think it's the nicest dorm on campus. Um, so yeah, we have seven freshman dorms that you can um, be placed in in your first year. Uh, let's see, there's Sharp, Monroe, Butler, JL, or Josephine Louise, Warren, Wall, and Patterson. Got them, yes. Um, so yeah, there's a high likelihood that you're um, placed in Butler, Monroe, or Sharp, because those are the three largest dorms. And um, I guess some dorms have... Um, party reputations while others don't. Uh, maybe I'll go a little bit deeper into that um, in my in my future videos, but yeah, um, they're a great time. So the Wall Residential College is the only dorm with suite style bathrooms, and the other ones are communal bathrooms. And yeah, the um, communal bathrooms definitely build character because you're sharing that bathroom with um, 20 to 30 other people. Um, the bathrooms are cleaned every day, but uh, what I would do, my tip, I had communal bathroom my first year, is um, I would actually work out at night and then take a shower at the Riley Recreation Center um, because the showers there are so nice. Just I just packed up my uh, clothes and a little bit of shampoo and some soap. And then, um, yeah, um, if you don't wanna shower in the communal bathrooms, definitely shower at the Riley Recreation Center. Yeah, you cannot choose which dorm you're placed into. I went in depth in this in my previous video, but we have these residential learning communities which have specific themes. And um, yeah, these RLCs are placed in specific dorms. So if you kind of want to choose which dorm you're placed into, you can apply into the RLCs, which are in the specific dorms. And that's, I guess, you, how you can get around um, getting placed in certain dorms. Get a mattress topper. Um, I did not get a mattress topper for all the last two years and my back is messed up because of that. Beds do have memory foam, but oftentimes they're just still, it's like sleeping on, sleeping on the floor. So yeah, definitely get a mattress topper. And oh uh, yeah, um, the walls there are paper thin. Um, everyone can hear through the walls and yeah, your private conversations are not necessarily private. Um, so yeah, keep your keep your voice down to the minimum and I guess yeah, be respectful to your neighbors. Yeah, there are gonna be a lot of noise complaints, um, especially during the first month of college. So yeah, just just be aware. 
Okay, so we're in our final topic, um, making friends. So I've been getting a lot of messages from um, from freshmen, uh, incoming freshmen, as well as transfer students, and they're a little bit concerned about um, like making friends and such. Um, so yeah, like I mentioned earlier, orientation is a time to meet other people, and there's a huge likelihood that you'll run into the other, um, run into these people eventually throughout your college experience. So just trying to get to know as many people as possible. Um, I lot, I met a lot of my good friends during orientation week. Uh, with that being said, most of the people that you've seen in my previous videos, I didn't really get close to them until my second year of college, which is, which is pretty crazy. Um, so yeah. Um, I've been getting a lot of messages from transfer students and they've been asking about how um, like our friend groups formed already. Is it hard to integrate into Tulane's um, community? I'm gonna be honest, it, it, it is very tough. Um, a lot of friend groups have formed already, so it can be tough, but I feel like that's the same for any other college. Um, and I think Tulane students are pretty welcoming. I can't speak for any other colleges, but from my experience, yeah, Tulane students are pretty welcoming and I feel that you can find your place, um, your place here at Tulane, but you definitely have to put in that first effort. No one's gonna be like, hey, welcome to the group, hey. Um, no, uh, you're actually gonna have to like put in that effort. You have to um, get uncomfortable and just talk to people and just step out of your comfort zone and I think everything will work out in the end. So I guess a little bonus section I can add in is general advice. I may put together an advice video later on, but my number one set, my number one piece of advice is um, take advantage of every opportunity. You're going to one of the top and most expensive universities in the nation. You're putting in so much money and time and uh, you're most likely you're coming here from afar. So take advantage of every single opportunity that comes your way. I've demonstrated this as much as I can in my previous videos where um, I've taken advantage of every opportunity that I possibly could and definitely got out of my comfort zone. A lot of opportunities are gonna you know, feel uncomfortable at first, but um, I feel like those, those random opportunities are where you grow the most and where you meet the craziest people. So yeah, take advantage of every single opportunity that comes your way. And the second piece of advice is give back to the New Orleans community. Um, you are coming here from afar, um, high likelihood you're bringing resources, you're helping the city grow. And yeah, you can do this through the, um, and you can do this through community service, through the Center for Public Service. That's what we have CPS there for. Uh, with that being said, you are entering a community that is not your own. So um, just try to understand that and be culturally aware and just respect the city of New Orleans. So I think that's pretty much gonna conclude the video, but yeah, I, um, I've been putting a lot of effort into these videos, so I'd really appreciate it if you consider subscribing. Um, unfortunately, my internships for the summer have been canceled, so I have a lot more time to put into YouTube. And yeah, if you have any additional questions, if you think I left anything off the list that you wanna hear more of, comment down below and I'll try putting together a video. And yeah, if you enjoyed, drop a like, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.